All right, golfers, ready to unlock a secret weapon to shave strokes off your game. Hmm, I like the sound of that. Tell me more. Today, we're diving deep into the world of Bermuda grass. Ah, Bermuda. The bane of many a golfer's existence. Well, it doesn't have to be. We're dissecting a fascinating article from Putting Four Eagle that's packed with tips to master this tricky turf. You with me? Absolutely. Let's unravel this mystery. For those unfamiliar, why is Bermuda grass such a big deal in the golfing world? It's not your average backyard lawn, right? You're right. It's a whole different beast. It's notorious on the Pro Tour, even impacting how the game is played. So what makes Bermuda so unique? It's all about survival. This grass hails from Africa, so it laughs in the face of heat and drought. Seriously, those roots run deep and just don't quit. That explains why I always see it on courses in warmer climates. So it's perfect for areas where other grasses would wither. Exactly. Even during those scorching summer months, you can usually count on a Bermuda course to deliver consistent playing conditions. Sounds like a dream come true for course superintendents. But I'd be remiss if we ignored the downsides. Oh uh, yes, every rose has its thorns. So spill the tea. E what are the drawbacks golfers need to brace themselves for? Well, those resilient roots we talked about. They have a knack for spreading aggressively, keeping Bermuda contained. It's a full-time job, let me tell you. And then there's the whole shade situation. Shade situation? You're telling me the superstar grass has a weakness. It's true. Bermuda craves sunshine. If it's starved of sunlight, it can thin out and create those bumpy, uneven playing surfaces that make us golfers shudder. Okay, so high maintenance and a bit of a sun worshiper. Anything else? The big one is dormancy. When the temperature drops, Bermuda goes into hibernation mode, turning brown and playing totally different. Dormancy. That explains a few. Let's call them unforeseen shots from my last fall round. The ball just didn't behave as I expected. Precisely. You'll find your ball doesn't roll as far on dormant Bermuda, adding an extra layer of strategy to club selection. It's like the course is playing mind games with you. So if I'm used to playing on, say, Kentucky bluegrass, how do I even begin to adjust my game for Bermuda? It's like switching from a familiar waltz to a fiery tango. Everything from climate preferences to the texture underfoot, even how the ball sits and rolls changes the game completely. Okay, you've officially piqued my curiosity. Break it down for us. What are the key differences between Bermuda and those other common grasses? We're talking Kentucky bluegrass, bent grass, fescue. What should golfers know? Let's start with fescue. It's known for being softer, more forgiving. Bermuda, not so much. It's coarse and grainy, and that throws a lot of players off. Now, about that graininess, mm -hmm. it's not just about how the grass feels. It's like a secret language on Bermuda greens. Okay, you're going to have to elaborate on that secret language, huh? How do we crack the code? Imagine you're lining up that crucial putt. You'll see subtle variations in the shade of green those lighter, almost shimmery areas. Yeah, I've noticed that before. I always thought it was just the sunlight playing tricks. It's the grain. In those lighter areas, you're looking at the grain running with the direction of the blades. Darker patches, you're putting against the grain. Hold on, so it's like petting a dog. You go against the fur, it's rough, but smooth it down and it's, well, smoother. You've got it. Putting against the grain is like trying to pet my cat backwards. It's just resistant. Yeah. The ball won't roll as far, might even break less than you'd expect. So putting with the grain is like putting downhill. More speed, more break. Exactly. Now you're thinking like a Bermuda whisper. Okay, this is blowing my mind. This is huge EE for those nail-biting putts. But enough about the greens. What about the short game around them? Bermuda around the green always seems to be my downfall. A common struggle. That spongy texture we talked about, it's recipe for disaster when chipping and pitching. One bad move and you're left with a shot that barely limps off the grain. Don't remind me, I've had way too many chunk and run moments. Mm -hmm. So how do we get that nice clean contact? What's the secret? It's all about solid contact. Ditch those shallow sweeping swings. With Bermuda, you need a steeper angle of attack, hitting the ball first, then the turf. Imagine you're chopping wood, a nice crisp downward motion. Okay, I'm liking this analogy. Time to channel my inner lumberjack. Steeper swing, clean contact, anything else? Don't be afraid to use more loft on those chips. That extra loft helps you get the ball up and over the spongy turf, leading to softer landings and better control. Got it. More loft, steeper swing. It's like a whole new world out there on the Bermuda. Speaking of new worlds, what about when you're stuck in that thick Bermuda rough? It's like trying to escape from a grassy prison. Bermuda rough, every golfer's worst nightmare. It's like hitting into a black hole. One minute your ball's sailing through the air, the next, poof, gone. It's the density. Those blades are packed in tight. Creates crazy resistance. Your ball just can't pop up like it does in other roughs. So 
any hope for us mere mortals, or are we destined to lose a sleeve of balls every time we stray from the fairway? You're going to need more than luck, that's for sure. It's all about that power swing. Power swing? You mean just whack it as hard as I can? Well, controlled aggression is key. Mm. You need enough force to blast through that dense grass and get the ball airborne. Trust me, finesse won't get you very far in the Bermuda rough. So when in doubt, channel your inner long drive champion. Got it. <laughs> it seems like with Bermuda grass, every single shot demands a different approach compared to other grasses. It's exhausting. You're telling me. And don't forget about those seasonal changes. When Bermuda goes dormant, it's like a whole new beast. Right, like it wasn't already tough enough. So we've got different strategies for different lies, different strategies for different times of year. You're catching on. Adaptability is key when you're tackling Bermuda grass. So basically, pay attention, be prepared to adjust your game, and maybe pack a few extra sleeves of balls. Now you're talking. This is what separates the weekend warriors from the true Bermuda masters. Well, I'm feeling much more prepared to conquer this challenging turf. We've gone from Bermuda basics to a full-blown course strategy session, and I'm loving it. Me too. It's fascinating how much there is to learn about something as seemingly simple as grass. Right. Who knew there was so much to discover beneath our feet? For our listeners out there, never underestimate the power of knowledge when it comes to improving your golf game. Understanding the nuances of Bermuda grass, or any course condition for that matter, can give you a serious competitive edge. So, keep those swings smooth, those putts true, and remember every round is a chance to learn and grow as a golfer. Until next time, happy golfing. Thank you.